eight of the most decorated Division I women's volleyball players have descended on Manhattan Beach, California. Each handpicked by Olympic medalist and one of the greatest beach volleyball players of all time, Holly McPeak. From here, not too many people are cranking the ball. Who among these elite has what it takes to successfully transition from the hardwood to the AVP Pro Beach Volleyball Tour? I want to make the main draw. I want to qualify. I want to be the best player on the tour. This is transition, and it starts right now. During the winter months, even SoCal locals marvel at the weather when it's sunny and pushing 80 degrees at the beach. Most can't imagine moving somewhere with snowy winters. Katie Carter, on the other hand, now calls the beach her office, but longs for a snowy day. If there was a mountain closer with some decent snow, I would be out there every weekend. I'm from Steamboat, Colorado. Picture like an Aspen, but before it was Aspen, before the Chanel and the Gucci got to Aspen. We lived champagne powder. If it was a powder day, there was no school. Katie's been missing out on powder days for a while now. Her prep volleyball credentials landed her a full ride to play volleyball at UCLA, where she was a four-year contributor and earned first-team all Pac-10 honors as a senior. Well, Katie Carter was a great indoor player at UCLA, a terminator for them on the outside. I saw her in the Manhattan Beach Open qualifier last summer, invited her out, and she's really come a long way. And I think it might take her a little longer than some of the other players, but she has the potential to be really good. Holly did have to wait a few years to get her to focus on the beach full time, as Katie played indoor professionally overseas for two years. It was a difficult decision to choose an uncertain future on the beach over a guaranteed paycheck. Financially it is risky. We're coming from great backgrounds, we played overseas and then we come here and we're like, we don't know how to play volleyball. <laughs> the way I look at it is, all right, let's say I just do horrible this season. Okay, I was coached by a legend. Her positive attitude is not just a front, and the inner strength she draws from it might just be enough to help her through the difficult transition. I feel like I'm in this alone. I am in this alone. Every person is. This may sound really lame, but I want to go all the way. I'm 110% committed. So for now, there are no snow days in Katie's future, but that doesn't mean she's forgotten her roots. My favorite read is The Alchemist, just because it, it reminds me of my own personal legend that I live by. My family's a huge part of my life, and I never forget about Steamboat. I never hesitate to tell people I'm from there.